Why can't I go outside? The outside world is a dangerous place. You must stay here where you're safe. Do you understand, Flower? Those lights appear every year on my birthday, only on my birthday, and I can't help but feel like they're, they're meant for me. I need to see them, and not just from my window, in person. I have to know what they are. It sure is a pretty day. <clears throat> yeah, the weather is great. It'd be perfect for a picnic. Why do you think we came here? Got me, Donald. We'll figure it out as we go. <sighs> okay. I'm sure we were brought to this world for some good reason. But can't we sweat it later? Fine with me. I swear that there's no hot wash. Them, they show up. There goes our picnic. I, I didn't do it. It's okay. Let's send these guys packing. Say, since you three seem to know what you're doing, mind if I leave this one to you? Yep. We'll take care of them. Go on, skedaddle. You have my thanks. Whew. The horse was enough. Don't need any monsters on my trail. Now, what was enough? Oh, nothing, nothing. Name's Flynn, Flynn Rider. Oh, watch out, they look mad. Slowly, slowly. Out of here. Flingo. He's I think I saw him go that away. Huh? 
But that away is just a dead end. Yeah, that's puzzling. Well, did he? Hmm. I say we investigate. Flynn, where are you? Flynn? Yeah. Yeah. At least he got away safe, right? Huh? Hey, now Sora's gone too. This way, guys. It's a secret passage. Yeah. <sighs> oh. How you doing? The name's Flynn Ryder. How's your day going? Huh? Who else knows my location, Flynn Ryder? All right, hang on, Blondie. Rapunzel. Gesundheit. Here's the deal. I was in a situation gallivanting through the forest when I stumbled upon it. Oh. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is my satchel? I've hidden it. Somewhere you'll never find it. So, what do you want with my hair? To cut it? Huh? Sell it? No! Wait, you don't want my hair? Why on earth would I want your hair? Look, I was being chased, I saw a tower, I climbed it, okay? End of story. Hmm? Huh? Okay, Lynn Ryder. I'm prepared to offer you a deal. A deal? Look this way. Don't... Do you know what these are? You mean the lantern thing they do for the princess? Lanterns? I knew they weren't stars. Well, tomorrow evening, they will light the night sky with these lanterns. You will act as my guide, take me to these lanterns, and return me home safely. Then, and only then, will I return your satchel to you. That is my deal. Yeah, no can do. Unfortunately, the kingdom and I aren't exactly simpatico at the moment, so I won't be taking you anywhere. Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will, fate, destiny. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. I am serious. Oh. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home. Then you give me back my satchel? I promise. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Ever. Oh, what to do? I cannot let her find that tiara. Okay, just think. I need the satchel, and Blondie has it. There might be more monsters out there. I've got it! The three guys in the funny outfits! 
He looked tough enough to come in handy. All right, fine. I'll take you. But on <sighs> one condition. My three sidekicks come along. Look at that! A tower! <sighs> Let's check it out! So soft. I'm free. I'm really free. Oh. Flynn, good to see you in one piece. Huh? Guys, you're here and just in time. <laughs> hmm? Oh, who's she? Uh, that would be Rapunzel. Something tells me this could be her first time outdoors. Give her a few minutes to get used to it. First time ever? I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! Mother would be so furious if she knew I disobeyed her and left the tower. But that's okay, I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her. Right? No. Oh my gosh. This would kill her. This is so fun! I am a horrible daughter. I'm going back. I am never going back! I am a despicable human being. Best day ever! <laughs> I notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. A little more than a little. More that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Stop right there. Who are you? Oh. I told you before, my sidekicks. Sidekicks? May I introduce... Uh... Oh, my name's Sora. And I'm Goofy. Pleasure, ma'am. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. It's nice to meet you, too. I'm Rapunzel. Yep, my sidekicks. Hey. Since when is that? Look, she really wants to see the Lantern Show tomorrow night. Now, I'm a nice guy, so I've decided to help her. Only problem is those monsters might show up again. I can get her to the kingdom, but you guys are clearly more cut out for combat. That's huh? just we're heroes! Uh-huh. And uh -huh. we're heartless experts. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> just leave it to us. Done. Rapunzel is interested. Yeah, her heart's pulling her all kinds of ways. Huh? The outside world must seem so big and scary. I know how she feels. Lucky for me, you two came along at just the right time. And the rest has been unforgettable. Mm. <laughs> uh, yep. Unforgettable. Just like your face. Oh, yeah! 
<laughs> Come on, male. All for one and one for all. Look, the flowers are growing on top of the water. Rapunzel must be pretty excited if this is really her first time outside the tower. Hey, sidekicks. Thanks again for helping me out. I've painted everything I can see from my window. But now I get to see it all up close. Hope we find some ingredients around here. think I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this moment to say it, but I'm letting you out of this deal. What? It's way too scary out here. Let's just turn around and take you home. No! I am seeing those lanterns. <clears throat> oh, come on! <clears throat> Rapunzel? It's okay. I'm not afraid to face them. <sighs> Be careful, I Rapunzel. I will! Yeah. They need a tower. Here we go. Back on. Down they go. Now's our chance. Yeah. All together. Get him! Good. <laughs> 
Someone? Who's there? She's such a precious gift. Allow me to assist you in getting her back. must be pretty excited. Mother said the world was dangerous. I'm starting to see that she was right. If only we had a big gust of wind. There must be something I can do to blow them into the air. Over there. Back off. <gasps> They're just like the floating lights. the forest would be so big. I can do this.
Okay. That's suspicious. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Rapunzel? Don't worry. I know to be careful around flowers now. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not normal. I'll take a look. Ratchet. Uh, no. Hmm. Huh. We're all clear. <laughs> These guys. Nobody's. Mother said the outside world would be full of ruffians and thugs. Don't you want thugs? Don't you? Uh, I don't know. Rapunzel, Flynn, stay back. No, I want to help you fight. I know, but I'm afraid you can't hurt these guys with a frying pan. Trust me on this. Flynn, could you explain? No problem. Knowing when to flee is one of my specialties. Come on, Rapunzel. Gotta go. But... Look, I want to stay and slug it out too, but my sidekicks have it covered! All right. Please be careful, Sora. <laughs> of course there had to be nobody. Once, we've never seen this kind before. <laughs> You know who uses nobodies? Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't seen him. I know you're there. Come out, you has beens. Oh. Has beens? Now, why would you say that? Because bossing around nobodies? That's the old organization. Why? Are you in the real one, too? Good for you. My name is Marluxia, and yes, that is correct. How interesting it is to see you again, Sora. Again? You know him? Mm -hmm. A shame you've no memory of me, because I remember you exceedingly well. Although, it's those memories I'd soon erase. I don't know what you're saying! Nor should you. Nor will you ever, for that matter. Now, if you'll permit me, I've come to ask a favor. Favor? You have got to be kidding me! Please hear what I have to say. I'm sure you've noticed. Well, perhaps not. But you should know that maiden with you, Rapunzel, is the very light of this world. I would see you guard her from its dark horrors. Huh? <laughs> Starting with you, right? All the organization seeks is balance. You must understand, our ultimate objective is not to clash with the light. 
we seek to complement it. Use that Keyblade to keep Rapunzel safe. Rapunzel's light? Oh, hey, where did they go? I guess they must have run on ahead. Then we'd better go find them. I really don't like what that guy said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'd better find Rapunzel before he does. wonder where they went. Don't worry. They couldn't have gotten too far. You just had to stop and talk. Hey, blame the has-been, not me. Oh, I think you mean Marluxia. <laughs> I bet that's the name the has-been would prefer. <sighs> Excuse me, good travelers. Do you know Rapunzel? Uh, uh, yeah, sort of. Why? My apologies. I'm Rapunzel's mother. The poor child left home without a word, and I've just been worried sick. Please tell me, where is my dear, sweet girl? We'd tell you, but we lost her. We could look together. Lost her? You're of no use to me. I'll find her myself. She ran away from home? What if Marluxia was onto something back there? You trust her to the station, Captain? What? No, of course not. But what if? I agree. Why is Rapunzel in danger? And what darkness is after her? Well, guys, the first step is to find her. <laughs> 
I hope Rapunzel's okay. I'm not sure she's tough. Watch out! We've got company. I think I see something. from chasing this bad man all over the place? Excuse me? Nobody appreciates you, do they? Do they? Oh, come on! He's a bad horse! Oh, he's nothing but a big sweetheart. Isn't that right, Maximus? What? You've got to be kidding me. Look, today is kind of the biggest day of my life. And the thing is... I need you not to get him arrested. Just for 24 hours, and then you can chase each other to your heart's content. Okay? Mm. And it's also my birthday, just so you know. Huh? Rapunzel! You're here, and you're okay. <laughs> yeah, you too. And look, I meet a friend. Meet Maximus. You could say Flynn introduced us, and where one goes, the other follows. This oh. is Sora, Goofy, and Donald. <laughs> They've been helping me. <sighs> Come on, the kingdom's not far. You look at this. It's so pretty. I can stay here forever. Huh.
The kingdom's not far, but we need to scale these cliffs. Well, then let's look for a way up. Swing across and look for a path. Come on! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> 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 place to cross. Ah! to that ledge. Maybe we should try the cavern again. Huh. I wonder where this leads. Nothing's going to stop me from seeing the lanterns. This way, Sora! Yeah, yeah, ha, 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 
formed. But what is it with me and horses? See ya. them. Rapunzel's calling you. The birds flew that way, Sora. Oops. You scared them. Oh, there they are. I've got to be quiet so I don't frighten them. Aww. Oh, they're leaving. Oh! I think Rapunzel's found something. The birds flew that way, Sora. Oh, there they are. Nice and slow. Gentle, Sora. Slowly, slowly. Please don't fly away. Oops. You scared them. Oh, there they are! The birds flew that way, Sora. Gentle, Sora. Ugh. Slowly? Slowly. Nice and slow. I've never seen a bird like you. Listen, they're singing for us. Oh, 
my gosh! Oh, breathtaking. This is amazing! <laughs> Whee! Whee! Yahoo! Whee! Yahoo! <laughs> I just knew the outside world would be full of amazing things. And you, you helped me find them. Thank you. Rapunzel sure looks happy. She does. Well, her dream's gonna come true. They're sending the lanterns up after dark. Cool. We don't want to miss that. Wow. Sure is a busy place. We'll find some ingredients around here. Hey, is that a plaza up at the end of the street? Looks so silly. For the last princess. Huh? Oh? Oh. 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 Come on, everyone. Come dance with us. Keep dancing! 
hacen? This is so fun! Keep dancing! This is so fun! <laughs> Keep dancing! This is so fun! You got it! Ha <laughs> Keep dancing. <laughs> you got it. This is so fun! <laughs> Keep dancing! This is so fun! <sighs> to the boats! <gasps> I've been looking out a window for 18 years, dreaming about what it might feel like when those lights rise in the sky. What if it's not everything I dreamed it would be? It will be. And what if it is? What do I do then? Well, that's the good part, I guess. You get to go find a new dream. something for you too I should have given it to you before but I was just scared and the thing is I'm not scared anymore you know what I mean I'm starting to <laughs>
I'm sorry. Everything is fine. There's just something I have to take care of. Okay. I'll be right back. It's all right, Pascal. Wow! <laughs> you guys have possibly picked a worse time? I don't think they appreciate the moment, Sora. <laughs> it's time for these wet blankets to go. <laughs> oh, let's see. Eugene? Eugene! Oh dear, <laughs> he's run off with the crown and forgotten you. No, he wouldn't. Who are you? <laughs> Forget Flynn Rider. You know where you belong, and it's not with him. Now.
my precious girl. <gasps> Mother? Are you all right? Are you hurt? Mother, how did you... I was so worried about you, dear. So I followed you, and I saw them attack you, and... Oh, my. Let's go. Let's go before they come to. <gasps> Huh? Hey, isn't that Rapunzel? Wait! Rapunzel! Oh. Show some decorum. You again! Marluxia! The girl has found her dear mother. You should let them be. And why is that? Because Rapunzel is far too important. Atop her tower, she must remain out of sight and live out her days with Mother Gothel. And never see anyone else? But that's like locking her in some prison. That is exactly what it's like. Rapunzel's hair holds the powerful magic of healing. And yes, Mother Gothel wants it for herself, as do others. And if Mother Gothel's actions will protect Rapunzel, preserve her, then she is doing the organization a favor. What favor? Let's say she's keeping Rapunzel on the shelf for us. An extra pawn in case you fail to find the remaining Guardians of Light. And we have occasion to call on other Hearts of Light instead. A new seven hearts to fill out the ranks. New seven hearts? Yes. Seven who inherited the princess's light after their role was fulfilled. So you don't care about her? You guys just want Rapunzel for your own purposes. Well, you're done here. Hmm. I just knew you would go and make a scene. Very well. Then it's lights out for you. You always were such a sound sleeper. Oh, please speak up, Rapunzel. You know how I hate the mumbling. I am the lost princess, aren't I? Did I mumble, Mother? Or should I even call you that? Oh, Rapunzel. Do you even hear yourself? Why would you ask such a ridiculous question? 
Ugh, it was you! It was all you! Everything I did was to protect you. Uh, I've spent my entire life hiding from people who would use me for my power. Rapunzel! When I should have been hiding from you! Where will you go? He won't be there for you. What did you do to him? That criminal's to be hanged for his crimes. No. Now, now, it's all right. Listen to me. All of this is as it should be. No! no. You were wrong about the world. And you were wrong about me. And I will never let you use my hair again! <laughs> You want me to be the bad guy? Fine. Now I'm the bad guy. Is Sora okay? We don't know. We keep calling his name and shaking him, but he won't open his eyes. Sora! Wake up! Hmm. Unresponsive sidekick. Wait a minute. I know how to fix this. Max! Give him a wash. <laughs> That did the trick. Nice work, Max. Huh? How did I end up? Oh no! Flynn! Rapunzel's being held prisoner! That's right. In her mother's tower. This calls for a rescue. Are you with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Max. From here, Flynn. Go help Rapunzel. Thanks. Yeah. Enough already. Get out of our way. We're almost 
Slayer. I thought I'd never see you again. Save him. I will go with you. Uh, no, no, Rapunzel. Uh, I'll uh, never run. I'll never try to escape. Just let me heal him, and you and I will be together forever. Just like you want. Everything will be the way it was. I promise. Just like you want. Just. Let me heal him. In case you get any ideas about following us. You... Eugene! Oh, I'm so sorry. Everything is gonna be okay, though. No, Rapunzel. I promise. You have to trust me. No. I can't let you do this. And I can't let you die. But if you do this... But if you do this, then you will die. Hey, it's gonna be alright. Rapunzel. Wait.
fall into darkness. We can't allow her near our pure light now. Her presence would only cast a pall over it.
Don't go. Stay with me, Eugene. <laughs> oh. Flower, gleam and glow. Let your power shine. Make the clock reverse. Rapunzel. Bring back what once hey. was mine. Rapunzel. What? Uh, Rapunzel. You were my new dream. And you were mine. Did I ever tell you, I've got a thing for brunettes? Oh. Eugene! Wow, Rapunzel, you're finally gonna get to see your real home. I know. I mean, I can't believe it. I can finally be with my real family. I couldn't have done it without your help. You're welcome. <laughs> well, from where I'm standing, the kingdom couldn't ask for a better princess. And I couldn't have asked for better sidekicks. Thanks. Yes, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Now, Flynn, you and Maximus play nice. Huh? Okay. Hmm. You're gonna be great. Huh? We haven't seen the guy controlling the monsters in a while, so that's one less worry. But there's still a chance that he might be around here somewhere. Well, if he comes back and tries to bother Rapunzel again, then Flynn will keep her safe. And we three won't be far behind. Come on! When Petrus gets that one, if you ask me. True. But nevertheless, I won't let her out of my sight. Oh, Eugene. Eugene? Oh, haha. <laughs> That's my real name. Eugene Fitzherbert. That's right. I never told you guys. That's different. Oh, I think it's a great name. Me too. Nice to re-meet you, Eugene. Hey, I thought I was the only one you were going to tell. Don't worry. I've saved plenty of Fitzherberty secrets just for you. Really? Hey, 
What are you two lovebirds talking about? Nothing! <laughs> Nothing! Oh, you get to laugh! Yeah, it's not nice to keep secrets. This one is none of your business. <laughs> Maximus, get him! Huh? <laughs> You have got to be kidding me! Another world where we got doodly squat. Hmm. You sure this box thingy's even real? Yes. Yeah, and just how do you know that? It is etched. It's what? Come with me. Where to? Those bozos ain't gonna help us. Sora sure not looking for the box. Who said anything about following them? No. What? We're too late? Yes. Evan would know all about the replicas from his time as Vexen in the organization. He was re-completed like the rest of us, but he didn't regain consciousness. After Lee left, he must have woken and taken his leave. Alias here and Dylan went out and turned the whole town upside down to try and find him. But no Evan. That's not good. What about his research? Unfortunately, his work on the replicas was incomplete. There may still be documents around, but all of them from well before he made any significant progress. Do you have any idea where he might go? There's no place that he could go now that he's human. He has no means of leaving this world. The Dark Corridors! are beyond his faculties and mine now. Oh, but not everyone's. What if Evan was taken? Of course! The organization could also use the replicas. To fill out their ranks. We better go tell Master Yen Sid. And Sora, and the others too. Humanity is a precious gift, and yet you desire to return to the organization? Oh yes, of course. One eradication at Axel's hands was enough to learn where not to place my trust. He gave you a second lease on life. He ripped me away from the one thing I care about. I don't require humanity. Give me my research. I must see it to fruition, no matter the cost. The replicas. Yes. <laughs> Soon they will replace, not just replicate. Given a heart, they can become just as real as any human. What excellent tidings. I would hate to think we invited you back into our ranks, 
only for you to fail to deliver our final vessel, Vexen. <laughs> hey, a new zone! You guys should check it out! Sora, I think you're ready for a teeny ship! <laughs> 